These are the best Nvidia settings for Fortnite in Season 4, which lower your input delay and boost your FPS. First thing, update your graphics drivers, because Nvidia usually add new functionality and optimizations that you can benefit from. The first way to do it is to go over to Google and type in latest Nvidia drivers and give that a search. Then click the first link, it should be the official Nvidia one. And inside this page you can find the latest drivers or even custom ones if you're into that. Here is a few good ones on screen. The second way is to open GeForce Experience, then click on the Drivers tab, and inside of this you can see that the latest GeForce Game Ready driver is available for download. Next, inside your NVIDIA Control Panel, you want to go on the 3D Settings, Adjust Image Settings with Preview, then you want to click on Use Advanced 3D Image Settings and click Take Me There. For the first few settings right here, you want to make sure that all of them are set to Off or are on Application Controlled, all the way down till you get to Low Latency Mode right here. Here. As you can see from the testing, this setting does actually reduce latency, however it can negatively affect your FPS, so I myself only recommend using On or Ultra if you have a high-end PC. If you've got a low-end or mid-tier end, you should use Off. Down from that, you want all these settings on Off or Auto until you get to power management mode. For this, optimal power should be fine for the newer graphics cards out there like the RTXs and stuff. However, for the older graphics cards, you will probably benefit from having this on prefer maximum performance. As most of you have newer graphics cards though, optimal power should be just fine. Underneath that, you've got preferred refresh rate. Now for this, you definitely want to have it on highest available. So if you've got a 240Hz monitor, you will get 240fps as it is the highest available. Scrolling down from that, we've got the texture filtering settings right here. Now I myself really like having these on screen, that's on, allow, performance and on. I think they're the best settings for myself, but I know a lot of people change the quality. They usually have high performance on, but I think performance is a great one for me. I actually found that this was the best performer, and it's probably the same case for most of you out there. And moving on from that, we've got threaded optimization. I recommend having this one on auto, as it'll actually check your CPU cores and determine if it should be on or off automatically, so make sure it's set to auto, triple buffering I like to have off and for the rest of the settings I have these on pretty much the default ones. Next in the resolution tab we have the settings which allow you to make a custom resolution but for more about that I recommend checking out this tutorial on screen that will show you how to set up a stretched res and it will also showcase the best ones to use. Aside from those settings right there though it's really important you set your refresh rate to the highest one in this setting as well. Next up we've got the colour settings, now a lot of pros like to keep these on the normal ones right here. But if you want your game to go from looking like this, which is pretty normal, to looking really vibrant, as you can see, you can try out these settings, that's brightness on 55%, contrast on 55%, and then digital vibrance on 70%. These are by far my favourite settings, and the some I would definitely recommend trying out. If not, well, you can just use the default ones, and that is all good. Finally, we've got the Adjust Desktop Size and Position tab. I like to firstly select my main game and display with the highest refresh rate. I then like to set my scaling mode to full screen, I like this one the best, and I also like to use perform scaling on my GPU. Oh, as a bonus as well guys, you can try using Nvidia Profile Inspector if you want more FPS. It's basically an application that applies these ultra low graphics settings to any game, which from the looks of it, you can imagine gives you a fair FPS boost. If you want to set it up, be sure to check out this video on screen, I basically showcase the best settings to improve your performance, and also show you how to set everything up really easily. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. That's all from me though, be sure to check out these other videos on screen that will probably benefit you as well.